Welcome to SnowRunner's Phase 4 release, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm your host, Nathan, and today, once again, per viewer choice, we're taking a look at probably the craziest truck I've driven, and also the craziest truck I've reviewed to date. Absolutely. So without further ado, here is the Azov 5319. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the channel and its content, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and please share the video as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. The Azov 5319 is a replica of a Russian armored military vehicle, the Kamaz 6560M. The 6560M is part of the Kamaz Tornado line, purpose for military contracts. These heavy armored vehicles can carry heavy weight and take on multiple roles. The Azov is one of the wildest vehicles in the game of SnowRunner. It gives drivers a rush with its raw capability and speed. While the 5319 does have some red flags, the upsides are just too good to pass up. Something new to the channel is at the end of the video, I will be sharing my personal rating of the Azov 5319 in areas of importance. So before I give away any details, let's dive into the base stats. The Azov 5319 is classified as an off-road truck. It weighs 15.9 tons. In its stock configuration, it has a power to weight of A-, a durability of A, fuel consumption B+, fuel capacity is 53 gallons, it comes with a stock suspension, its tires also come stock with a 50 inch all-terrain tire, it has always on all-wheel drive, and its diff lock is always on as well. Alright, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Azov 5319. Per usual, bad news first, so coming in at the number one downside, no raised suspension and front overhang. There's somewhat of a trend I see upon inspection of the Azov brothers. They have noticeable front overhangs, and also they don't have a raised suspension option. The SnowRunner community loves raised suspensions, and the lack thereof here is not a huge downside, but it would be a great bonus. However, I noticed that the Azov 73210 is getting an active suspension upgrade on the Phase 4 release, but the question is why not the 5319 as well? I believe an active suspension to the Azov family would help with added ground clearance. Although the ground clearance for the 5319 is neither an upside or a downside due to my testing, a raised kit would help mitigate contact from its front overhang. There really aren't many things that slow your progress in the Azov, but catching your front on terrain is definitely one of them. It doesn't happen as much as the BM-17 in my previous videos, but it can be very violent hitting obstacles in high gear. Downside number two, fuel tank capacity and economy. The number two downside is by far the biggest deterrent. It negatively impacts driver experience more than anything on this list. With the second smallest fuel tank in the game and a pretty thirsty engine, the Azov suffers in range. Along with that small 53 gallon tank, its fuel burn is pretty sporadic. It's a vehicle that can get up into those uncomfortable ranges under load and drivers are just forced to watch their fuel gauges fall. I really respect drivers who can effectively use this vehicle despite this downside, but for me it's a hard choice to call on for long hauls. To mitigate this downside, try setting up refueling trucks around the map or just plan your routes around fuel stations. Later we'll talk further on ways to combat this downside. Downside number 3, wheel spin. The 5319 is a powerful vehicle, like some of the others I've reviewed. One thing it does struggle with is wheel spin. If you use the high range gearbox and slam into a mud pit, usually it will spin until the driver decides to intervene. Like the Dan, but not as pronounced, it can dig you into a bad spot. So just pay attention to your wheel spin, your forward movement, and make the call on whether dropping a gear would help. Coming in at downside number 4, turning circle. While this downside is not a huge deal, the Azov's turning circle isn't all that great, kind of like the 64131 as well. The 5319 doesn't have the rear turning axle like its brother the Azov 73210, so it can be frustrating at times. If you're a high range gearbox driver, this downside will definitely cause issues in areas of constant sharp turns. Now the vehicle's steering isn't too slow, but it's not as responsive as other vehicles like the Tega. Overall this issue could slow your progress on an already thirsty vehicle, so it had to go on the list. And finally, coming in at our number 5 downside, rock crawling. I mentioned previously that the Azov doesn't have a raised suspension upgrade, but its ground clearance is somewhat middle of the road. 
While I have found it does take rocks better than the 64131 and the 73210, it does struggle at times with larger rocks. In my opinion, this is where an active suspension would be very beneficial. One of the Azov's main weakness is this downside right here. SnowRunner seems to keep adding terrain that requires climbing rocks. Those additions to the game can deter drivers from using these vehicles. Now with all that being said, the game however is somewhat forgiving by adding winch spots, but sometimes they're just not in reach, especially in later maps. Getting high centered on a rock is probably the second largest frustration. The first is plain old tipping over. Alright, now that the bad news is over, let's jump into the good stuff. Here are the pros for the Azov 5319. Coming in at upside number one, stability and center of gravity. In truth, any Azov truck review is going to have this upside, except the Azov Antarctic. One thing that sticks out about the Azov 5319 is its stability. Running around in high gear and cutting corners puts this upside to the test, especially with cargo, but the 5319 stays firmly planted. Its low center of gravity and short silhouette add to this upside. From test, it seems as if its weight is mostly in its frame which keeps it right side up. The vehicle's description in-game also mentions its heavy frame as well. One of the best upsides you can have is a stable, dependable platform to work from. Upside number two, the combination of power, all-wheel drive, and diff lock. Another great feature that the Azov truck line has going for it is their strong engines and always-on all-wheel drive and diff lock. The 5319 shares one of the stronger engines in the game with the Tuz Warthog, the Voron Grad, and the Azov 64131. This strong engine allows the 5319 to blaze into high gear and maintain it even with heavy loads. The Azov can practically handle everything you throw at it when it comes to hauling. In short, once again, it's another plug and play, easy mode Russian truck. Upside number three, high range performance. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This truck is wild. Unlike its brothers, the 5319 possesses the high gear option, giving it some of the best off-road speed I've ever seen. This trailblazing performance rivals some of the best, most revered trucks in the game. I actually had to record double the amount of footage that I usually have to because of how fast it just goes through everything. Now personally, I'm not a fan of the high range gearbox due to preferring the more slower, relaxed gameplay, but I gotta say, this thing is a rush. The good thing about using the high range gearbox is that you will somewhat mitigate fuel burn due to the high range using less than the off-road or the fine-tuned gearboxes. Although the fuel savings might be minimal, it gives drivers another reason to trailblaze in this Russian wrecking ball. Upside number 4, Durability. The 5319's in-game description mentions that it's a durable truck, and I gotta say, that is true. However, the Azov will take damage to its suspension from high gear's fast, overwhelming movement, but it rarely takes engine damage. Being that this is an armored vehicle, naturally it makes sense that it doesn't take engine hits. Also, I might add that it has a very high suspension damage tolerance. As an off-road truck, you get beat up. It happens, but taking less damage is always a plus. It's a hassle to pause progress to go repair and it takes time away from hacking the mission. No one wants that. Upside number 5, Snorkel. To be brief, its snorkel sits atop its cab and it works properly. Thank God. The Azov is really a great vehicle for river crossings as well. A useful snorkel is always a plus. Just be careful to watch out for big boulders while crossing and wading through water. Upside number 6, Weight. The 5319 is the second heaviest off-road class vehicle in the game, weighing 15.9 tons. Having heavy, low-centered weight, a strong engine, good tires, and always-on all-wheel drive and diff lock just work together beautifully. The Azov just seems to have a great balance with those factors to give it superior performance. It's really amazing that a vehicle that weighs that much can move at speeds like that. The number one heaviest off-road class vehicle is the Azov 64131, which moves at a turtle speed. The 64131 only weighs one ton more than the 5319. As I've said before, weight equals grip. To give you one last comparison to put weight in perspective, the Tega weighs 12.1 tons compared to the Azov's 15.9 tons. Weight makes a ton of difference in performance value. Upside number seven, large tires and spare location. Eight large 50 inch mud tires powered by all the things we just covered. It's a sight to see my friends. Although the 5319 has one mud tire option, 
It has eight of them, ripping and tearing at driving surfaces. We tend to highlight things like engines and weight, but all those things are good for nothing if not backed up by a good set of wheels. I believe the extra axle also gives it much more grip than traditional trucks that have the same variant of tire. One thing I must add as well is the spare tire location. See, we've all blown tires somewhere and personally I never equip them due to the locations getting hung up on some type of terrain. The Azov has a cool feature where the tire actually mounts to the back of the cab in this little cutout. However, you might say, well, that's not really an upside until a root or a rock catches your frame mounted spare tire. Honestly, it's a sweet feature and it adds more survivability without a downside, so please use it. And finally, coming in at our number 8 upside, mission speed and utilization. To wrap up all the factors that make the Azov a wrecking ball, we have to talk about its mission performance. One of the fastest ways to get a job done is with this truck right here. I can say with confidence that it rages through most things to pickups and drop offs. If you're into gameplay like speedrunning or just fast tracking progress, the 5319 is the ticket. The Azov's main downsides are its fuel capacity and economy, but that also can be mitigated by its pace. Areas in SnowRunner are getting harder to move at great speeds due to the more difficult terrain additions, but there are some really great areas that you can just crack the throttle wide open. Yes, it does burn a lot of fuel, but it also covers ground faster than 99 if not 100% of vehicles. This truck can also be used with a maintenance add-on or a fuel tank add-on to give it added range without fuel stops. Just pull a trailer with you. Alright, so moving on to my personal ratings for this vehicle. In the power rating, I gave it a 4 due to a strong engine providing A plus power to weight. For terrain navigation, I felt that a 4 was accurate due to how well it navigates in the toughest areas. It would have gotten the 5 rating if it could handle bigger rocks which are basically everywhere in recent phases. Due to the easy nature of operation, it deserves a 5. It's an easy mode as of so it's relaxing to use for any driver. Really the only skill needed is for high gear and predicting turns at high speeds. For aesthetics, personally I like the cab overlook and I feel the Azovs have grown on me a lot so I think a 4 is appropriate. Plus it has some really cool looking military camo as well. Stability is heavily scrutinized in my personal opinion. I feel a 4 is accurate because it's not impervious to tipping but it's one of the more stable vehicles in the game. The Azov has the second smallest fuel tank in the game for the hauling class vehicles and it has a thirsty engine. I really had no choice but to give it a rating of 1. Fuel economy and capacity is of great importance, especially in Phase 4. For the utility category, because I really feel the 5319 can do it all, it merits a 5 for sure. Heavyweight, all-wheel drive and diff lock, and mud tires, it's kind of a no-brainer it's going to get a good rating. I gave it a 5 due to all those things listed, but I debated on making it a 4 due to the lack of mud tire variants, but honestly, its grip is pretty great. So in conclusion, the Azov 5319 is, in my opinion, one of the best off-road performers in the game. It has the standard Azov Brothers downsides with the addition of poor economy and a small fuel tank. If drivers are able to set up fuel stops or use a tanker add-on, this vehicle will get work done at paces I don't think 99% of trucks can match. For me personally, I still use it, but I make sure I can make it back to the garage or a gas station. It's hard for me to use it due to its wild man nature and high gear, but if you're good at driving, this is going to be fun for you. Since I've just started reviewing trucks recently, I have yet to test the revered Tega and the ANK Mark 38, but I'll wager the 5319 would give them a run for their money performance wise. Overall, it's a great vehicle to buy at driver level 14 and it has a ton of utility. The truck rips and tears its way through most things with ease. With good knowledge of its drawbacks and proper use of its upsides, the Azov should have a place in every driver's garage. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh new perspective of the Azov 5319. Please smash the like button. Definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. God bless and stay upright.